Should I raise my right to an attorney or should I raise my right to silence? Welcome back to One Minute Law. So these are fundamentally different rights that we're talking about. One of them is a little bit better than the other. Here's what it is. Imagine yourself in a police interrogation room. If you raise your right to silence, they can keep asking you questions. They can keep basically playing their games and using their techniques to try to get you to say something. However, if you raise your right to an attorney, theoretically, they should be disengaging. They should be breaking off their questions. Now, it's very important either way that you understand that you can waive that right. If you start talking again or something like that, that may be considered a waiver. So it's not like you raise it once and now you're set. Also keep in mind, you are likely the only person who can raise that right for you. This isn't the movies where the attorney can stroll in with the styrofoam cup of coffee and the brown leather briefcase and tell the cops to scram. That's how I get tased. For more content, check out our channel. We'll see you in the next one.